Hey guys, this is Drew Craig with GearWire.com, back for another home studio workshop. Today we're going through a bunch of soft synthesizers and we're looking at the Native Instruments Compact. This is a soft synth that's it's basically a sampler and it uh, allows you, well the presets allow you to quickly lay down a lot of different sounds. For example, uh, if you are in a, in a time constraint, which is a very popular thing in the studio, and you want to just quickly load up you know, your drums, you want some bass, and some like Rhodes, and, or whatever you want. This, the presets in here actually have all that ready and loaded up, already set to different MIDI channels. So all you need to do is load up in your software, in your program, you know, eight MIDI channels all assigned to channel one through eight, and sign them all to, to, be, to go to compact, and every, all your instruments will be right there so you can real quickly lay stuff down. And that's kind of one of the names of the game when it comes to soft sense, being able to quickly lay something down that sounds decent um, so that later on, you know, if it's not good enough, we can redo it with a live instrument or, you know, it just kind of gets that, the timbre of that instrument in there so that you can fill the space around it. So anyway, let's take a look at this real quick. All right, guys, here is the interface of Compact. And like most Native Instruments uh, interfaces, when you first take a look at them, they look a little crazy. So let me walk you through this. Basically, right here, I've loaded up the preset String Trio. And this is one of my favorite presets on Compact. The reason I like it is... Uh, it's basically a, a violin, a viola, and a cello, and you also have a harpsichord in there. Honestly, don't use the harpsichord so much, but maybe today we'll, we'll check it out. Uh, but the uh, cello, viola, and violin samples that they've chosen and they've recorded into here are actually very tasteful. And they're just solo instruments, so when you put them together in a nice harmony, man, they sound really good together, uh, especially when you're doing uh, multiple notes uh, with all three of them. Uh, one of them is panned left, one of them is panned right, one of them is right in the center. It sounds like a really nice live string trio. Gotten a lot of compliments on a lot of my tracks using this particular sound. Um, so getting started, over here you, you can see we have the various different instruments that are loaded up. Harpsichord, cello, viola, and violin. Each one of these instruments, as I click on them, has their own particular presets. And you can see stuff moving around as I click on each one. Uh, if I start with the harpsichord, uh, we have all these different options. We have filter options. Um, we have uh, volume envelopes, filter envelopes, free envelopes. It just goes on and on. LFOs, chorus, delay, just about anything you can imagine that you could do to the sound, you can tweak using all these different knobs and stuff. I'm not going to go through every single one because we're on kind of a time constraint. We have a lot of soft sense to go through today. Uh, but, you know, you have your master filter and just a lot of stuff that you're going to find on a lot of, uh, basically, a lot of synthesizers and soft synthesizers. So. We're just going to kind of go through the sounds and I'll show you how to use this in a very constructive manner. So here's your harpsichord, like I said. I don't use it very much, uh, just not my style. Uh, but let's take a listen to, say, the cello. It's, uh, it's real. It's a very good sample of a cello. It's got a lot of expression in it. Uh, it's a very tasteful s sample choice there. Uh, same with the viola. Here that one has a lot more reverb on it. We could customize that. All those effects are customizable. And then the last one, the violin. Again, a lot of reverb, but a very, very nice, clean, real sounding uh, violin. When you play all three of them together, they, they produce a, a tremendous amount of uh, complementary harmonies with one another. So this is one of my favorite ones to add in. I've made a couple jungle tracks with this string trio. All sorts of different stuff. It makes for a very organic sound. Even though it is a sampled instrument, it still has a very organic quality to it. So I'm going to pull up one more we can take a look at. Um, let's see. We have Church Ensemble, Fusion Trio. Let's see. Let's try the Jazz Multi. So we have basically a Jazz Bass, a Rhodes, a Les Paul guitar, tenor sax, and some drums. So let's just take a listen to each one of these. For time's sake, I'm kind of assigning each one to just the first MIDI channel. So I can just play through each one really quickly. So here's the first, here's the bass. Kind of sounds like a muted upright. Now 
let's move on to the next one, the Rhodes. This is kind of a kind of wet Rhodes. Has some kind of vibrato modulation effects going on with it. Not bad, not bad. Let's check out the guitar. Not bad, not bad. As you probably know, guitar is a more difficult instrument to emulate on a keyboard. That's really not too bad. Now the sax, I don't know what this is going to sound like. This might sound really bad. Sax is probably one of the hardest instruments to emulate. Actually, I have to say I'm really impressed with that. That sounds right on. That's actually very, very usable. Um, and the final setting we have here is the drums. Pretty standard kind of general MIDI kit. But a lot of these sounds sound pretty good. The percussions sound great. So pretty straight ahead. So basically, this unit called Compact, I think it gets its name from being able to have all these different instruments in one small little soft synth that you can access really quickly, uh, which again is one of the advantages of using soft synths, saving us time and money, because otherwise I'd have to go out and pay a Rhodes player, I'd have to go out and pay a saxophone player, pay a drummer, and believe me, that's the last thing I want to do. So uh, check it out. It's called Native Instruments Compact. Thanks for watching.